Hey guys, it's Christina here. As you can see, we've got quite the crowd forming behind me. They've all come out tonight to see the world premiere of Return to Myself, the highly anticipated film from We Are Assyria Films. I'll be eager to talk to them after the screening to see what they think. It's opening night here in Encino and what we're seeing tonight is Victor Davuti's latest film, Return to Myself. It's highly anticipated within the Assyrian community and as you can see we've got quite the turnout. And I'm going to be chatting with some of the people to see what their thoughts are on this project. Hi Michelle, how are you this evening? Good, thank you. How are you? I'm very good. Are you excited for this premiere? Yes, definitely. We're all here very excited. I'm definitely proud of Victor for putting this together. So. So, do you know a great deal about the project? I, I know a little bit. I know it's a documentary and it's um, something we've all been waiting for for a while, so we're very excited to be here. So you're proudly Assyrian? Yes, definitely. What's your name? Shemaran. Now, are you Assyrian? Proudly, yes. Proudly Assyrian. Have you heard much about this project? A uh, little bit on uh, the news. We heard about it. I'm very so proud of uh, Victor that it's an honor for me to be here today. Fabulous. Now, if I can just get you to translate that and say it in Assyrian. You speak Assyrian? Of course. Okay. Just say exactly what you said in Assyrian. That would be fabulous. Sure. Victor, I have a lot of people who are living in the world. I have a lot of people who are living in the world. I have a lot of people who are living in the world. I have a lot of people و هم آشا عبد منتیان یو خیتو و شمت آتورای مرمطله. باسی مرابا قداش ولش آبی دقت بیدت قومتن. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, and I'll have a chat with you afterwards and get your thoughts on the film. Okay. There we go. Well, how about this? I'm sure your Assyrian's better than my Assyrian. Can you teach me how to say hello? It depends for a girl or a boy. Well, a boy first, I guess. Shamalo. Shlamano? Shlamalo. Shlamano. Shlama Loch. Shlama Loch. There you go. Shlama Loch. And for a lady? Shlama Lach. Shlama Lach. There you go, you got it. See? Your Assyrian's much better than mine. I'm gonna work on that. And hopefully after the screening I'll I'll be pronouncing that a little bit better than now. But thank you very much for the lesson and I look forward to having a chat with you after the film and get your thoughts on it. Great, thank you. Thank you. People in bright colours are standing out to me tonight. Look at this orange coat. This is gorgeous. <laughs> yes, thank you very much. This is 1970s style. Oh, well, it looks <laughs> fabulous. Now, what's your name? My name is Romina Arvaki. Now, are you a Syrian? Yes, I am. Okay, fabulous. Now, have you heard much about this project? Yes, I did because David Dawa, uh, Victor Dawoodi is um, one of known person in our community. So, and yes, I did. Okay. If you could do me a big favor, if you could just look to the camera and, you know, in Assyrian, just talk about, you know, what you expect to see in this film. That would be great. Would you actually see a lot of Victor Dawoodi, Rabba Zahra Grishele, Khamendi Khab, Story Ktiv, the Baz Suradian, Akhna Rabba Etlan Shahur Khbiu, the Khtareva, Khat Khanash Aspai, Honana Gudu Society Dian Itch. Well, thank you so much, and I'll find you once the film's over and get your thoughts, okay?
Here I am with Ramella. She's uh, the lovely lady featured here in this picture. What can you tell us about your involvement in the project? Well, I, as an Assyrian, I am so proud to be involved in such a film that um, has taken Victor many, many years to put this together. And I am not just honored, but I am really, it's my privilege to be um, involved in such a production. So it's a labor of love. It actually is. Labor of love for the culture, for the people, for who we are. <laughs> well, here I am with Ramona Yonan, is that correct? Yes. <laughs> Got to practice my Assyrian. And she's going to tell us a little bit about what we can expect to see in this film. Well, I've got to say first, you look gorgeous. You really pulled out all the stops for tonight. Are you excited? Thank you very much. Yes, I am. Robert, I could you take a lens screening for me to return to myself? Direct will be my Robisto Davudi. Il Robo Afel Mabast Untan Arturetta. Anna Robert Dayen at Ivan Shurikta Guda Guda film it. میاقرا ویکتور داوودی ادمجت خا پارسو پار را با را با ام تنایل و آن را با بخداین قد قدی پریشه لکد آیان خاصما من دا فیلمو عروج بسیم. Thank you so much and I'll chat to you afterwards and get your thoughts on it. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. اصلا هیچی قد آن شلوان عروج کل دنیا. و خزق زوده من دن آودیات یوم تیگن to see your continued support, especially in this industry. I would like to talk about, uh, briefly, the man of this evening who brought us all together here, Mr. Victor Davoudi. You know, I've been in the entertainment industry for six years and I've come across so many filmmakers, so many directors, and in this industry, believe it or not, it, we just have to accept there's a lot of vanity going on. And one day I was at our Syrian church and I was just at the Syrian festival and I heard somebody calling my name. And I turned around and I saw one of my university friends from Chicago. And we were hugging each other, so happy to see each other after so many years. Can't tell you how many because you'll guess my age. <laughs> But we started talking and she said, hey, what are you doing with yourself? What are you doing with your life? We started chatting and she said, I would like to introduce you to someone. I said, sure. So she introduced me to a very genuine, most humblest man I have ever met in this field of entertainment. His loyalty and dedication to people that he meets, whether Assyrian or not, he's humble and genuine and very sweet. And that is, Filmmaker, director, Mr. Victor Davoudi. Before we start our premiere tonight, I would like to talk about two important people that are here tonight. Robbie Yosef at Yosef from Modesto. We welcome you here tonight as Assyria. Assyria looks up to you for genuineness, for support, both personal and spiritual. Thank you so much for attending. I would like to also welcome a pioneer in this industry, Mr. Albert Duman. Can you please stand up? He's a pioneer in the film industry who brought the dubbing uh, into Iran from the early 1950s. He invented the DRO system, which is the digital uh, readouts um, that was brought into Los Angeles in the 1980s. 
And believe it or not, it has been to many stages here in the entertainment world, and we are so very dedicated and loyal to your hard work and dedication, especially to Assyria. As you know, Assyria, and as Assyrians, we are the indigenous people of the land of Mesopotamia. It is important that we press upon the entertainment industry, the arts of all arts. It is our goal to ensure that Hollywood knows who we are, and we will make an imprint, and we will show them that we have talent, because we have to make a way and pave a way now for the future of our future generation, and what a more better way to produce that than to show you what Mr. Victor Dabuji has put on film and on this canvas, his art, his vision. Thank you and enjoy the premiere. I believe history does not have a beginning or an end. It is not linear, but circular. I believe history creates and eventually repeats itself. You have been here in the past and will be in the future. As the cycle repeats and repeats. It is all up to you how to connect the dots. A path. A purpose. A link. Connecting you to you. This may be the moment. Look around you. It is you. Searching. I was born a Syrian. It wasn't a choice. It was my destiny. I had been reasoning with others or trying to instruct them with the facts of my identity. My history. Or should I just ignore the reality? That how far can one go denying? because of difficulties, ignoring the truths. Ready to fight back, enough. We, Assyrians, must not face trouble unfolding who we are. It is not unknown. We carry the genes of those who once ruled the world, as the world still invests millions to excavate our ancient towns. We have devoted so much to humanity and must be realized. So we've just come out of the screening of the premiere of Return to Myself, the latest film from Victor Davuti, and I'm going to speak to some of the people that were in the audience and get their thoughts on this production. How do you feel after seeing the film? I am moved. I am at the same time very, very um, liberated. And I feel that every, everyone, all the children need to see this movie and uh, be inspired and really be proud of who we are and where we've come from. Do you think you can say it in a Syrian for me? It's okay. It's okay. I'm a lot of people who are in 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 a مطيخ ال اللخا خفي الملاقة شو تخناشة شو لي السورة جرعة في المخزيلة ونطريلا جانة كدينا سورة. And how do you feel? Because you pretty much symbolized Assyria in the film. What an honor! It truly is. Um, I can't even tell you. I don't. There is no words to describe. Um, how I feel after seeing this movie. Victor was telling me about um, how significant 
you know, um, my role in this will be. I really didn't see... Um, you had no idea? I, I didn't really grasp the, the level of, of the importance of it until I saw the movie. And I'm so honored, I am beyond, it's beyond words of how honored I am to be a part of this. Um, and for Victor to um, allow me to be a part of this. Well, you did a fabulous job, so, and thanks for speaking with us. So I'm with Al Rama. He features in uh, the production of Return to Myself. Now, what are your thoughts after seeing this film? Uh, it was a great film. Uh, it really, really symbolized everything that our people are going through. Uh, I thought it was a great message to our youth uh, about the importance of knowing one's identity, understanding who we are as a people, and coming back kind of, uh, as the movie's title says, returning to yourself, understanding your roots, so that you're able to move forward and thrive and unite with uh, with your people. Chal here, who actually features quite strongly in the production, and is this the first time you've seen the final piece? Yes, first time seeing it. And what are your thoughts? I am definitely blown away. It was um, very inspiring. The way he put everything together and brought all of our organizations together, and um, definitely blown away. Very proud of you, Victor. So I'm here with Isabel. She is an Assyrian scout leader and she's just stepped out of the screening of Return to Myself. What were your thoughts on it? It was a very touching, moving um, story about Assyrians. Uh, it hits close to the heart and it just it, um, in makes you more patriotic and tries to instill the um, motion of Assyrians and who they are to your children and my children and just keep this language strong, our ethnic strong, and everybody in our nation stronger. It was just very moving and it just made me proud. And you work a lot obviously with the Assyrian youth. Do you think it's really important that they see this? Oh, absolutely. I encourage all Assyrians to see this, your children to see this, sit down. parents, everybody should sit down with your children and definitely watch the movie. It really instills history and motivation to move forward as a nation. Well, you did a fabulous job and yeah, it's very inspiring. I mean, I'm not even a Syrian and you know, it's just very thought provoking, isn't it? That definitely. Um, I'm hoping that with this film, um, it ignites a passion in all of our people from the youth to our elder generation and kind of ignites that passion to make a difference and keep our existence alive. And not even just your people, the whole world. Yes. We definitely want to be known to the world. Um, the world doesn't know that we exist, some of them, so I'm hoping that this is the start to a new thing. <laughs> Thanks very much. Enjoy the rest of your evening. What fantastic was all the evidence and facts that our nation need to see it together. Because people have seen these parts by themselves when they were present. But the nation has not seen it all together, piled up together, amassed all that fabulous information and uh, uh, presentation that was put together was uh, extremely well and uh, I admire it and I respect the work done and I'm sure it's going to do our nation a lot of good. Okay. And uh, do you think you could uh, speak in Assyrian for me? Yes. So basically yes. you can say the same thing? Yes. Ahaha film that Miakra Victor Dawudi Thank you you work within the entertainment industry. How does it feel though to be so closely involved with something that's you know about your people? It's absolutely inspiring and at the same time when it is about your own people and because we're the indigenous people of the land of Mesopotamia it really 
has such a strong feeling and meaning to it because really it's, it's, it's our focus to let Hollywood know who we are when they really don't. And I have to give heads up to Mel Gibson because if it wasn't for Mr. Mel Gibson who made The Passion of the Christ, that movie in and of itself is in our language, Aramaic. And here we are today representing Victor and if it wasn't for Victor, none of us would be here tonight. And because of his film, I'm so highly inspired. And so you think everyone, all your people should definitely see it? Absolutely. With Ramon, who features in the production, and uh, this is the first time anyone's seen it tonight, so what are your thoughts on it? Well, I thought the movie was uh, very well made. It was inspiring. It's inspiring to uh, different generations, older, newer, the past, present, and future, that our nation is alive, and we and the and the youth, the youth of a, the youth of the youth of our people in particular, are the torchbearers of our nation, and it and is their responsibility to keep keep us going, and to maintain our culture, our heritage, our identity, and. I thought it was very inspiring overall. Naam Timo Rebe, Ad Raba Filmashapirlem, and Ochum Bitlaben Hamash Hatman Azitum Kazitum, Uraba Kaditum with Ashwin Shapir at Victor Vido, Abitum Bassi. I'm back with the lady in the fabulous orange jacket. Now, what were your thoughts on the film? Oh my God, that film was so nice. First of all, it was unbiased. There are so many groups over there that, was re that were represented by Mr. Victor. And uh, I like all these groups, they were you know, having you know, voice over there. And uh, most of all, I really enjoyed the music. I am a music person, I love the background. It was perfect. And also the title. The title of this movie really matched to whatever they said from the beginning, uh, you know, they were into the circle, it was not the linear. So overall, it was overall nothing. Every little bit of it, it was so nice. So I really enjoyed it and uh, I wish him success. <laughs> so here I am with the man of the hour. He's been very hard to catch tonight. The filmmaker himself, Victor Dabuti. Victor, how are you feeling? Feeling great, thank you. Congratulations, you must be very proud that Five years of hard work have all come to, together. Well, it's not only mine. Many people work. I just want to say thank you to all of them. It's a teamwork. Well, I'm sure you're getting lots of great feedback tonight, but what are your hopes with this film now that it's well, finished? This film, is, uh, this film is all about being a Syrian, to uh, speak. We're, we're trying, our objective is to speak about the Syria in and outside our community our nation and um, to create uh, ideas that we can share to our people around the world. Stella? Stella, did you watch the movie Stella? What did you think? I think it was wonderful and great. It was great. I feel touched and I felt like crying and people they should do more and we can be a nation again, one nation. Ja, Anna Kavik zo bij een moest aan het tabrik staan. Ik had het gevoel dat zorg zullen. Als het midget gaat, wordt het gaat het kasturen. Denk je Hollywood? Mocht je alle kleuren sturen, toch mocht je alle? Kijk je het? Kijk je de groep, religieus groep? Ja, de sturen je hele men. Pisch aangeeft toch men kleuren mocht je alle? Anna Rava bij de jongste haar het lief. Alle mensen die men nog, ik ga naar de barchasser eeuwig.
Do you think, um, you know, Assyrians are dispersed all over the world, do you think some of them aren't aware of this collective movement, you know, those protest scenes, there was such a large group of you all together for, you know, the one cause, do you think, uh, I mean, do you think people are aware that that happens so, so much? I Over think, here? I think in this age of uh, social media where news information gets disseminated so quickly, word spreads throughout the world. When, we, when you see pictures of a, of a demonstration here or in Australia, the whole world here, the whole Assyrian community throughout the world hears about it. So I think because of uh, advents in social media and technology, uh, these things become more widespread and, and knowledge of these events becomes known all throughout. I hope uh, we see more, we see more filmmakers, more artists, where our objective is to create artists that they can compete on an international level. And I hope uh, we can achieve, achieve that. And uh, we're going to be traveling with this film in different cities and uh, hopefully we're going to meet our, our youth, our people. And I think it, this film really can help inspire and motivate people to do something like that in their community wherever they are around the world absolutely I believe that uh, you know it's film it's films like these are very inspirational inspiring like I said not only young people I mean particularly young people because you know young people of, uh, of all of all uh, races or whatnot become disenchanted uh, with different things and in, in the Assyrian community for example they're disenchanted for a variety of reasons. Uh, but it's important to, uh, to, 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 particularly to that demographic, but it applies to everyone as well, that uh, to provide some of this inspirational sort of work, to work for your nation, to work for your people, to maintain your culture and your identity, and uh, just to do what we can to each of us in our daily lives. Uh, it's up to each and every one of us. It's not up to leaders, it's not up to organizations, it's up to every one of us. Um, لا أكتب إيد مهديانا وشوت آسا وإيتاتا إلا بإيد يو إيد كتكا بارسوبا يو خيط الجانو قد إيتوتا هيا يوتا ماردوتا من دي هيا يوتا خاميلا إتر رابغ ذا مان رابغ دان قد أفلم قد كاك إنسبريشن لي و بريشيت إلى كو أليم الدين دا تيد الملت قد دابخ قد رابغ دانات نش الیم دیان لنا شروک لنا لنا وی امت لنا جوی شروک گو شولان امت نای رابز اولت این را من دی اینا هی وی تلی کد بی فیلم فیلم و اگ اگ میکرو ویکتور داوودی دورسله کد انکارج آدر کد الیم دیان شریکی و ابیشتاور ابیشتاوری بی هیایوته و ایتوته امت نایوته. I want to say thanks to everyone. Cam and thank you guys for a great job. Well, I think from the feedback we've been getting, I think the whole community want to thank you for the fact that you, you know, put the time to put together this piece of work. You're getting, you know, amazing feedback, so congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks.